And right now we have a developing story out of Miami where we're learning how a plan that would have helped public schools has now been derailed by the arrest of one of the city of commissioners. Yeah, local tennis Christina Vasquez has this story. This parcel of publicly owned land, this came park. This is a work of fiction. Is at the nexus of criminal corruption charges ex Miami Commissioner Alex Diaz La Portilla is facing. 11 felonies to include bribery and money laundering. You see, before he came into office in 2019, there was a plan for this land that included helping to provide expanded educational space and green space to public school students, affordable housing for teachers. That's according to Diaz de la Portilla's arrest form, which states Biscayne Park was viewed as a, quote, key component of a redevelopment plan in partnership with Miami-Dade County Public Schools and the Omni CRA, Community Redevelopment Agency. What was the vision? Here's former Miami Commissioner Ken Russell. Redevelop nine acres of school board owned land and master plan it for education, teacher housing, affordable housing, uh, technology. But in order to make that plan come to fruition, they needed to move IPREP. This piece of land was the target area where we would expand IPREP. Once uh, Alex Diaz de Portilla becomes a commissioner, he took over the chairmanship of that Omni CRA. And from that moment on, this plan never saw the light of day again. And what Russell and others didn't know at the time, say investigators, is that Diaz de la Portilla, take a look, was receiving but not disclosing tens of thousands of dollars from David and Layla Setner, a wealthy couple seeking to build an indoor recreational complex on the publicly owned Biscayne Park to benefit students of their private school, Setner Academy. Per his arrest form, introducing related resolutions to support the center's Biscayne Park project idea, but failing to refrain from voting on the matter and asking the centers to pick up the tab for a board than $1,500 so-called celebratory dinner with city staff following a key vote in October of 2020, two days after receiving a 50 grand check of funneled funds. And this just into the newsroom from a spokesperson from Miami-Dade County Public Schools. They said they recently became aware of the allegations indicated in the Florida Department of Law Enforcement investigation through media reports. The matter is currently being reviewed. Back out here live where I can say we already have the centers on the record. You may remember they put out a statement saying that they do not believe they've done anything wrong. But we're working for you on the digital side right now. Check back in with local10.com. We're going to be posting for you that arrest form so you can read through all the allegations that investigators have made for yourself. And we're also going to post a copy of that agreement between Omni CRA, the Miami-Dade County Public Schools, and the city of Miami. That plan that was in motion and in place uh, before this commissioner took office. And a reminder, he is now suspended. The governor issuing that suspension order on Friday following his arrest on those corruption charges. Reporting live for you. I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.